As a game design major, something important and fascinating to me is the clockwork and inner workings of games. How they function, what makes them successful or not, and especially what makes them stay relevant over the years. Yu-Gi-Oh! is no different. In this series, I aim to give both myself and you all a better understanding of this mystifying TCG. Everyone take a seat, it's time for game design in Yu-Gi-Oh! Hello, I am Desperate Oak48, and this is another episode of Game Design in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, as the title of the video has um, betrayed, uh, we will be talking about mechanics, dynamics, and aesthetics. And right off the bat, I would like to say uh, aesthetics are not the, like, uh, color palette imagery, uh, etc. that we normally uh, associate with aesthetics. i um, just going to go ahead and uh, tell you that if you're thinking that, you know, this is going to be about, like, I like fiend monsters. That would be my, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! aesthetic. Uh, uh, watch, watch the video, because when, when we cover that, you might be a little surprised. Uh, but, as always, um... I'm merely a student. I'm not a professional in this field whatsoever. I am studying to become a professional in this field. This is all information I have learned already, and all information I am reteaching myself uh, through uh, various um, sources and various um, just researching on my own. As well as from the book Rules of Play by Katie Salen and Eric Zimmerman. Um, again, as always, if you're interested in game design, this field, or just want to have something to learn along with, uh, I highly suggest it. It's a wonderful book. But anyways, so um, mechanics, dynamics, and aesthetics, what are they if they aren't? if aesthetics especially aren't the like looks and the uh like art visuals to something then what is it well uh the mechanics are the rules of a game and that should be fairly obvious why are you coughing so i don't know where i left off or where i'm cutting in um but to recap uh because there was a lot of background noise um mechanics dynamics and aesthetics um you know the aesthetics aren't what they uh what we normally uh, equate aesthetics to uh at least in game design um but you know that of course leaves mechanics and dynamics uh which uh, mechanics will be fairly um y you won't be super surprised but mechanics are the rules of a, a game no I, I don't think anyone is surprised by that uh, the dynamics are considered the rules in motion, uh, like the rules as they're happening in the game we're playing. And then the aesthetics uh, are the feelings that the dynamics uh, make, which sounds weird, um, leaving... Uh, so, again, the mechanics are the rules, and then the dynamics work to create aesthetic uh, experiences. Um, so that might be a little confusing. So let me kind of break it down here a bit. The uh, mechanics are would be stuff like you can't normal summon once per t uh, more than once per turn unless double summon or some other card effect. Uh, you can only respond to um, uh, counter traps with other counter traps. Um, uh, you know stuff like you. Um, you know, you go draw phase and then standby phase and then main phase one, uh, you know, kind of stuff like that. Uh, these are the rules, which we talked about, uh, in last episode, which was just titled rules. So then the dynamics would be the rules as we are playing them. Uh, for example, uh, you, uh, you're dueling someone and they play Mystic Mine. Uh, the rules uh, say, you know, X card is played, effects go off if no response to negate or destroy. You know, like that's kind of how the rules work. But then the dynamics of that would be Mystic Mine is played and the opponent of the Mystic Mine player cannot attack or use monster effects if they control more monsters on the board than the user does. And if you're playing a Mystic Mind person nine times out of ten, you will probably have more monsters on the board than your opponent will. So, um, then that comes from the, the that leads to the aesthetics. Um, and again, as I stated earlier, dynamics work to create aesthetic experiences. 
Um, so then the aesthetics of that would be mind numbing rage and anger. So that was my dog barking. I don't know if I'm going to leave that in or cut it, but my dog just started barking a lot. Um, so there might be an awkward cut. There also might be a dog barking in the background. So we'll see. Um, but as I was saying, the aesthetics are the, like the, the feelings you get as you are playing a game and, uh, like as the rules are in motion as the game is progressing so especially early on when you're just learning the game those might be uh, confusion slash amazement to how interactions and stuff work um your opponent is playing a degenerate strategy and as the rules go in motion to progress that degenerate strategy to work the emotions you might feel are just uncontrollable just malice or anger or you know you have set up this amazing board and as the rules dictate your uh board is just unbreakable so the aesthetics that you create there are elation happiness joy you know you set up something that your opponent can't get by that is just the uh, the mechanics dynamics aesthetics uh, uh as they uh equate and relate to Yu-Gi-Oh. so um yeah i have been super excited for this uh, episode for no real particular reason uh again like i think all of this is truly fascinating and i think all of it is important but um you know this is kind of uh a more fun uh topic this actually does kind of relate to building and designing games uh, at least in my opinion uh a good deal because as you're designing games and as you are um uh, making them you want to keep this in mind like you know you want to keep in mind the rules or the mechanics you want to keep in mind the dynamics like what it's like to actually play the game and the feeling of it and you want to keep in mind the aesthetics uh, because overall the, the game Yu-Gi-Oh not just looking at specific card interactions the aesthetic is that you want to feel like a duelist who is controlling these monsters who has these spells and traps uh, and stuff and the rules in Yu-Gi-Oh! should work to give you that feeling. And then, of course, depending on your archetype and your playstyle, you might feel like different types of duelists, you know, et cetera, so on and so forth. Um, but, yeah, that, that's... Um, there's no definitions in here. Uh, again, like, all the information for this comes from Rules of Play. Uh, it's a phenomenal book, so... But, yeah, uh... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am Desperaduk48, and uh, let me know what y'all think. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. Uh, if you want to follow along the series or follow along with Built From Nothing, uh, hit the subscribe button. The notification bell will make sure you are updated whenever I upload, so you'll be able to follow along more quickly, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, if you like the content, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you think uh, if you have any questions let me know uh but i am desperate 48 and like i said two weeks ago this is all one big batch recording and not just me wearing the same outfit three weeks in a row thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all next time